doing this evening. Still getting ready to hit the road, trying to get some last things in order. Supposed to be somebody coming to buy this uh, log truck I got for sale. And uh, get a few other things in order before I leave. Uh, Want to talk a little bit about uh, riding in dirt. I had a buddy of mine, he fell in my driveway a couple weeks ago. But uh, a lot of people try to go as slow as they can coming up driveways and dirt roads and stuff like that, which, which is good. But you got to know when to give it gas. Uh, your bike don't want to do what you want it to do whenever you are uh, just putting along. Sometimes you got to know when to give power to the rear wheel to uh, make it push that front wheel. And my driveway, you can't see it now because it's dark. My driveway is pretty sandy. And uh, these heavy bikes like mine, I got a 2012 electric glide. And it's, it's pretty heavy. I know it's kind of dark. You can't really see it. I'm hoping this light shows up on my camera here. I'm still using my cell phone. I don't have a GoPro. But anyway, uh, whenever your bike wants to wants to lay down, I, I feel like the worst thing you can do is hit your brakes. I feel like that's the worst thing you do is hit the brake whenever your bike wants to lay down. I I found that whenever you, you give it gas in the sand like that, you know, for those that hadn't rode in sand, uh, I mean, my driveway's like a beach. I mean, it's real, real thick sand, real loose. But, uh, yeah, I found that uh, if you just give it a little gas, it'll push, it'll push it on through the, uh, push it on through the sand, and everything. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I wanted to wanted to talk about a little bit with it, about that. Another thing, uh, I started out on Hondas and stuff like that. I didn't always have a Harley, and uh, I was worried that my bike was running hot. And uh, I got a thermal uh, infrared thermometer. And it, uh, you know, you just point it and hit the button, and it'll tell you the surface temperature. And around my heads, uh, the cylinders and stuff, it was it was getting up there around 285, 290. And, I mean, it scared me. I was like, Jesus Christ, it's melted down, you know, because, you know, a car or anything like that, you know, it runs about, you know, 210. You know, at the high, it's 220. And that's whenever you're trying to figure out, you know, what why it's running a little warm there. But, you know. But anyway, I uh, I looked up Harley, the 103 engines. They are a hot engine. The 103 the big twin cams are hot hot engines. And, uh, you know, they get up to 285, you know, 290. You know, that's their normal temperature. Uh, they make a product I found called Love Jugs. And it bolts onto your horn mount. And uh, it helps keep your engine cooler. Uh, I know it's dark. You probably... Can't say my receipt and hairline that good anyway, but anyway, <laughs> uh, Love Joe's, they, they seem like they work pretty good. Uh, a friend of mine's got them, and they, they keep his bike cool. Um, I'm probably going to invest in those things. They're kind of expensive. Uh, I think they're around 400 to $500 for those things, but it's still cheaper than an engine. Uh, that, and uh, I see a lot of people... Uh, pulling baffles out of pipes and, and stuff like that, getting rid of back pressure and trying to make their bike louder. And that, that causes your engine to run lean. You know, your O2 sensors can only keep up with so much before, uh, you know, it's just out of its range where it, it can't get your bike uh, tuned properly. So uh, if you're going to take out baffles and do exhaust work and intake, stuff like that, I, I feel like you should have a tuner or, or somebody tune your bike where it's not running so lean because they're programmed from the factory to run a little lean and the leaner it runs the more heat it makes you know and and, and the more uh back pop you get out your exhaust and stuff like that and it some people like the way that sounds but to me i think it's you know it may sound good but you know you might need some adjustments just to you know what's better for your engine longevity and stuff like that <coughs> excuse me uh you know, I just I, I think that's what you should do. You should uh, do what's best for your engine, not so much as your ears. You know, uh, louder ain't always better, and that back popping ain't always a good thing either. Uh, that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, but anyway, y'all have a good night. I appreciate you watching my video.